Hey, what's up everyone? Hitbo here, and this video is a complete guide to the first new tall tale from the Pirate's Life for Sea of Thieves. Now, this is full of spoilers, so if you're not wanting to know about this tall tale, stop the video, don't watch any further. But this video covers absolutely every step of the way, all of the things within this tall tale, from puzzles to where all the books are and how to complete all the commendations. So hopefully this guy can help you out if you're having a little bit of trouble completing all the combinations for this tall tale all right so here we go you started the tall tale now this shack that is on the beach of every outpost is how you will start every single one of these tall tales for a pirate's life after some dialogue from the castaway she's going to kind of illustrate what's going to happen the new portal to the sea of the damned has been lit and it is now your job as a pirate to set sail and to head towards the new portal now here is kind of what that looks like you get to see some really cool scenes along the way so at this point just enjoy the ride there's no commendations that you have to go look for it's all just going to kind of complete on its own so enjoy the experience this is a phenomenal tall tale i've really enjoyed kind of everything that rare has put together after a little bit of time you're going to kind of have this cinematic scene and this is where the good stuff really starts to happen you're going to load into this whole new world the sea of the damned and you're going to see this beautiful island you're going to take your ship park it and go ahead and go ashore Once you get ashore, you're going to take a left and kind of look for this middle shipwreck area. And this is going to be the opening cave that is going to kind of take you on this adventure for this tall tale. So once you find this, kind of just head down the path. After a little bit of time, you're going to find the first kind of puzzle. I'm going to call them. Uh, it's very super easy to kind of figure this one out. All you're going to do is basically light your lantern on the fire and then use that fire to light some other lanterns you're going to be doing this quite a bit throughout this tall tale so once you got this flame this is perfect you're going to go to the first lantern on the left go ahead and light that one and then you're going to go to the lantern on the right and then light that one and then the door will open so pretty simple stuff it's just kind of introducing you to the things that you can expect to do within this tall tale after a little bit of time, you're going to come to this room and there's going to be some more lanterns for you to light. So go ahead and find this scurvy dog, light his lantern. The next one is going to be hidden behind an arm. Go ahead and move that arm away and light this lantern as well. The last one is if you follow the stream down in the back of the rowboat is the final lantern. Yeah, you're going to hear that a lot, Dead Men Tell No Tales, so just kind of get used to it. It is the, the theme throughout this tall tale, and I love it. It's awesome. Uh, after lighting all those lanterns, you're going to have these guys kind of opening up the door, and you're going to be able to kind of get through that. So pretty cool, pretty simple. Enjoy it. It's super fun. Uh, I'm just showing you all these puzzle parts just in case one of you guys gets stuck along the way. There are some confusing parts in some future tall tales, and even in this one. So I'm just kind of showing you everything. So this is the full and complete guide to this tall tale. So uh, after a little bit of time, you're going to find your way to this room and there is going to be a need for a handle for a lever. You kind of go back into the main room, go through the waterfall. You're going to enter the kind of this cave area. And then once you walk in to the right, you're going to see a shining symbol of hope, which is the handle. Go ahead and pull that from the skeleton. After that, go back up to the lever and put it in and then just go ahead and pull that thing. And it's going to open up this door. After a little bit of time, you're going to enter this kind of area. There is a lantern right at the beginning that you'll need to light. You're going to see this really cool rowboat scene. So go ahead and light that lantern up. And then after that, make your way up to this kind of capstan that is going to lower a bridge that is going to allow you to kind of cross over to the next area. Once you lower that completely, head across the bridge and you're going to come to this pulley system. Use this pulley system to bring up this path for you to kind of jump across and go ahead and make your way across. 
after you get across at the very bottom on the dock is the final lantern that you have to light and this will bring in the rowboat and open up the passageway to the next area now one of the things i love about this tall tale especially with recording this guide for all of you there is so many little details within this tall tale and i just i just love it take the time to do this tall tale and just experience this thing it is an absolute wonder and i love what rare has done with it and disney just the partnership within this is amazing a little way further you're going to come to this room i just wanted to show you this because i thought it was super cool uh it kind of has this theme of dead men tell no tales and uh, it, it looks like all of these pirates got poisoned and yeah i had to get a cool shot of this awesome treasure room it's probably the coolest one in sea of thieves so yeah enjoy this shot it's going to be at the end of this video because this looks cool i mean come on who doesn't love a big pile of treasure well anyways after that you're going to make your way behind the big pile of treasure and you're going to come up onto this area this area is pretty simple you just kind of climb up the ladder and use your sword to to kind of break that rope there and it'll drop the the path there next you'll find a pulley system a little further along the way which kind of moves this thing that you'll just jump on it's pretty simple but again i just wanted to show you every single puzzle that you're going to be facing along the way so uh you'll jump onto this platform and you'll jump to the next area right next to that you're going to find this platform that you're going to cut down again simple stuff but you'll never know and probably one of my favorite things in this whole tall tale is this little water ride that you get that is going to take you into the city which is the biggest part of this guy there is so much to do here and i'm going to show you this is where you can find all the journals you can find the monkey journals the cursed captain journals so this is kind of where the meat and the potato is for this guide so kind of let's just jump into it you're going to turn to the right make your way down to this area and then to kind of open this gate you're going to have to light this uh light this thing up here so go ahead and grab your lantern out come up the stairs and go ahead and light this it is going to activate the city so you can kind of have this cool cinematic scene if you turn to the right you kind of see the city kind of coming alive it's kind of neat uh but yeah after you light that this kind of opens the path now this is the part like i said that it's the meat and the potatoes so there is a lot to this now i'm going to show some parts of me just kind of showing you how i got to where i got to um if that makes any sense so there's going to be just kind of long bits within this next part but you're going to make your way kind of to the center of this area and you're going to be introduced to oh, the cursed there captain you can kind of see him in the cage and your first objective is to basically get him knocked down from the cage kind of get him free from this so uh you're gonna make your way up these stairs and kind of make your way around well it's a start sure enough but he's barely been done I'm strung up by this old ship beside the cage. But you'll never board her from the ground. Hold your course and see if you can't make it over to her from where you are now. I'll wait. You best not be pulling me leg, for I've not seen it in years. Now, after going up this pulley system, you're going to see a door. I want you to kind of make a mental note of this door. Your goal is to get the key to open up this door, which is the treasure area. But it's also key to kind of open and unlock another area that will have some accommodation. So kind of just make a mental note of where that is. Uh, after this, you have a couple pulleys. So go ahead and use these pulleys to activate the next areas. Uh, but up ahead is an item that you're going to need to grab before you kind of move on and knock the cage down with the curse captain uh so go ahead and uh we'll we'll jump to that in here in a second now with this pulley system i want you to pull the platforms completely opposite side this is so that you can get the first object which is captain bones special recipe so very important just kind of make the platforms this way because you'll be able to kind of jump in and get it as you'll see here in a second
so here it is the recipe and uh, it's behind some cages so here's the platforms you're gonna kind of just jump around here jump into the cave system and grab that recipe so don't fall down you want to take this all the way back so make your way back to the platform jump up here yeah good job hippo okay you're gonna make your way over here to the cursed captain and knock down his cage it's super simple to do just kind of jump up on this platform put the recipe down and uh go ahead and cut this scurvy dog down you just need to lower me cage barry yeah it's that simple who would have thought all right go ahead and don't forget the recipe grab it you'll need this later and make your way down to the cursed captain but all right as well. you can see here one of the first things that you need to do is get the key to unlock the cage so he told you if you listen to that dialogue where to go but i'm just going to kind of show you you're going to go to the tavern which is this direction and the key is right in the middle you see it shining right there All you gotta do to get that key is come up here and lower the light down and you'll be able to make your way over there and grab it. All right, now that you have the key, let's go let the cursed captain out. That's the way. I'd be fearful that the lock might have rusted after all this time. Now that the cursed captain is unlocked, I want you to pick up the recipe and go to the back of the ship. In the back of the ship, you're going to see a chess game. And to kind of activate this scene, you're going to need to take out your lantern and light the candle on the desk. I also want to make a note to the left here is where you'll find the first of the cursed captain's books. So don't forget to go ahead and read that. I'll show that to you here in a second. After you light up the candle, pick up the recipe and you're going to have to wait until it asks to refill the tankard now i don't know what captain bones puts in this special recipe but whatever it is makes your head explode so i do not recommend drinking it as you can see there is a new spot to add the cursed captain's head so we're going to need to do that here in a second but i do want to point out that's where you find the book Go grab the cursed captain's head and you're going to hear him kind of talk about this dialogue of you have to get a buy-in. So he, now the question is, is where do we get this buy-in? So I'm going to show you kind of where to do that. You're going to go back to the tavern, make your way up the ramp, and you're going to kind of find the captain's quarters. And here you're going to find a table and a candle. And I want you to light the candle up and you're going to kind of see where the first clue of finding the buy-in for this chess game is going to be now before you leave turn around and go to the top of the tavern there is another curse captain book don't tell me you forgot all about me So now that we have our clue, we are going to go find the missing treasure. As you approach it, you can kind of see it looks like it's been dug up because it has been dug up. So let's go ahead and follow the path of the treasure. Finding the end of this path, you're going to be at this spot. At this point, I want you to take out your shovel and you're going to start digging up this scurvy dog known as Dougie. Once he's completely dug up, 
grab your lantern because you're going to need to light this thing up and he is going to go through a pretty fun dialogue so take some time to listen in on that anyway he's going to tell you to go find his treasure to do this i want you to go back to the kind of main area look for the ship and now you're going to go to the front you're going to go through this door and you're going to kind of see this scene now there is another cursed captain book here so go ahead and read it while you're here so that would make three now to the left here you're going to see this guy looking at a map and he's going to have a magnifying glass now if you go up to it and you move the arm nothing is going to show it's not going to be beneficial to you at this point you actually have to light some lanterns up to kind of make it visible so go to the top deck here open the door go out and just light these lanterns up After lighting the lanterns, I want you to go back down into the main room and move this pulley around to kind of let the light in. This is going to turn the candles on. Now, with that being done, you can go back to the magnifying glass and you're going to see a big X that marks the spot. Now that we know where to dig, we're going to go back to kind of the front of the tavern and kind of next to this big rock, we're going to dig up Dougie's treasure. We're going to take this treasure back to Dougie and hopefully trade it for our buy-in for the chess game. And there you go. Now we have a buy-in for our chess game, and that is what we are going to use to get in on this game. So we're gonna go back to the table, put it down on the table, and then grab the cursed captain head and put it on this skeleton. Barnacles. Is that the best he can do? Well then, take this key. Now, after a bit of dialogue, we're gonna finally be able to pick up this key that is going to open up that treasure room that we saw earlier. So we're gonna make our way back to that treasure room. Now, opening this door, I know you're gonna be thinking to yourself, man, I'm about to make 30,000, 40 million gold. Well, unfortunately, it's only about 5,000, but you needed to open in this door for more accommodations. So, anyways it was well worth it after that i want you to go back grab the cursed captain's head go to the top of the lighthouse find the skeleton body drop the skeleton head there and make your way to the top of the lighthouse light up the lighthouse and then use these caps and these wheels to kind of directionally aim the uh the the light the way that you need it and this is going to summon the ferryman so this took me a little bit of time so i'm just gonna kind of skip through this part but you gotta find these lanterns here and basically light them with the lighthouse now after this you're going to get a key in the mouth of cursed captain well he's gonna get the key he's gonna put it in his mouth now before you go there is another cursed captain book up here so go ahead and read it now before you leave i want you to go back up top and as you can kind of see if you look kind of on the other side of these sails is another beacon that you got to light up with the with the lighthouse so aim the the light right at the sails now remember that treasure room that we were at earlier well there is a pulley system that is going to angle the sails to allow the light through to light up this beacon and this is going to unlock another uh another area for commendation so it's very important to do uh go ahead and angle the sails this will light up the beacon and make your way back to kind of the starting point of the city and uh if you were looking out it'll be to the right but in this case it was to the left and this is kind of the last spot for commendations in this city now i'm going to show you there is five books that you need to read and, and find so let's kind of show you all of those spots 
the first one though however is just going to go go grab the key and this key is going to be used to unlock an area on this ship so pick up the key right here kind of make your way around to the captain's quarters Now, I'm going to show you each location for the five journals that you're going to need to know. Here is journal number one. Here is journal number two. Here is journal number three. And the last two journals are in the captain's quarters. So here's journal number four. And then there's journal number five. Once you're done with that, you are pretty much good to go. Minus one journal that we are about to go find. So pick up the cursed captain's head. Make your way to his ship and uh, go ahead and put his head in the skeleton body next to the door. And he's going to open this door for you. And you're going to make your way to the top of the ship. We just got carried away. We didn't mean nothing by it place his head in his body now there's going to be a bit of dialogue here i'm not going to spoil it but before you leave and take that key look to the right and you'll find the final curse captain journal so go ahead and read that You've made an old sea dog happy today. now you've completed it grab the key head on back and you're going to see this treasure at this point the commendations are all just pretty straightforward i'm going to kind of play it through but it, you've completed all of the ones that you've really had to find you're going to go to the back here take the rowboat and you're going to take this rowboat over to the ferryman that we called a little earlier Now, there is a pretty funny dialogue, I think, that you're going to hear with the ferryman. It just feels like he's lecturing these people. But at this point, what you need to do is light the beacon in the middle, which is going to destroy this cage. And you're going to make your way down and find the one and only Captain Jack Sparrow. There's a few more beacons that you need to light. So I'm going to go ahead and show you where those are. There's one by the door. There's one behind this coffin. You're going to light this one up. And then on the left, it's going to open the passageways. These are simple, but like I said, this is a complete guide. So I'm showing you absolutely everything you need to know just in case anyone gets stuck at any point within this tall tale. The old keys. Look, I'll try a bit first. Tree? Ooh, not bad. Pink salt and rosemary. Now, if you bring your flea ridden hide just a little closer. Oh. Say much to you. Very wise. When endeavoring an escape, silence is. And there you go, saving a pirate's life. Unlocking Jack Sparrow from his prison cell is going to get you another commendation. You're going to make your way up top, and you're going to have this really cool fight with the Flying Dutchman and Davy Jones himself. There's going to be a few scenes. You're going to just, it's a fun scene. Really just enjoy it. Rare did an incredible job with this. At some point, boarders are going to kind of jump onto the ship. If this is brand new to you and you haven't fought any of these new AI, any of these new enemy types, this is going to be your first experience with it. So it was super fun. It was my first experience with them, and I just really super enjoyed it. So you're going to do a little bit of fun. Fighting. uh it's gonna take quite a bit of time but at some point after fighting the dutchman for a little bit this scene kind of play out on the front of the ferryman where this claw steals the treasure from jack and he wasn't able to defend it so after that uh there's a little bit more dialogue jack sparrow falls off into the sea of the damned and the ferryman kind of gives you this lecture to fulfill his dark ambitions and lay siege to the sea of thieves his plans are in motion. 
and that's it after the lecture from the ferryman he is going to send you back to the land of the living and you my pirate friends just completed the first tall tale and completed all the combinations with it if you like this video and you want me to do one for each of the other tall tales make sure to hit that subscribe button let me know in the comments below if there's anything i can do to improve videos in the future and thank you for watching i really enjoyed making this and i hope you guys enjoyed it